Sitting here, I just got off work, and I always have an epiphany when I get off of work. You know, you just think about your life and what happens in life, and you know what? None of this matters. It's so funny. Our life is supposed to be dedicated to God. Our life is supposed to be as the life of Jesus. The way that Jesus walked and the things that he did. And he cared about people and he cared about where we were going to go when we died. You know, the Bible says that we're going to live and then we're going to die. And it's because of the devil. We get to die of our flesh because Eve messed up and fell from grace. She didn't listen to God. And I think today's society doesn't listen to God. Nobody listens to him. And and that is if he is a he. Or if he has any gender at all. But my thing is, like, why do we why we don't listen? Why are we so ignorant? Is it because it's hard? Is it because we're ignorant? Is it because we don't care? But at the end of the day, we do care. Alcoholics care. That's why they drink alcohol, so that they can drown out, drown out the sorrow of their heart. Drug addicts care. They just do so much drugs that they get tired. And then they stop caring. They feel like they're lost and hopeless. And I just think about it that a lot of people are going to go to hell. The Bible says that few will enter the gates of heaven and many will go to hell. And that's tragic that you would live a, a shitty life and then die of your flesh, your body, and then stand in the front of God on judgment day and be condemned to hell because God can't break his own law. That's why God gave us Jesus. That's why we have Jesus, because God cannot break his own law. He had to make a way when there was no way for us. Because he loved us, that he sent his only son to die for us on a cross. To be humiliated, spit on, but naked. Because he was naked, even though all the beautiful pictures and books and all the, the historic notes say that he had a robe on. No, he was naked. They shamed him. They spit on him. They shamed him. They mocked him. Because that's what people do. Because we're so angry. We're the most angriest creatures in the world. Yet the most logical. Even science can testify of our genius. They say that a person only uses 10% of their mind. That is a lie. You use more of your mind every day. And the reason why I'm making this video is because people are priceless. We are priceless in the eyes of God. Even I, I'm not perfect by far. By far, I am not perfect. But what keeps me strong is to know that Jesus died on the cross. Jesus went through what I went through. Yeah, he may not serve people at Subway every day. But he was humiliated just like I am humiliated every day. He was sorrowful. Just as I am sorrowful to wake up every day. That I live in a world that is dying. That is falling apart. People rip this earth apart. They have no sense of value. They have no compassion anymore. It's about race and gender. And if you're gay or if you got the best clothes on. Or if your hair looks the best. Or if your makeup for your face is wonderful and beautiful. But that's not life. That is not life. You're supposed to wake up in the morning. You're supposed to use your hands throughout your day. Worship your God if you worship one at all. And be happy. Find food. Make shelter. Do small things like that it's not the big things in life that matter but it's the small most minute things that matter we as humans are insignificant we mean nothing god said from the earth you were created and the earth you shall go when you die if you look at science and you look at the human body 
the human body is composed of all elements of the earth. All elements of the earth. The only thing that is not of the earth is your spirit. The deposit that was put inside you from the moment of your creation inside your mother's womb. That is crazy. I just can't even, I can't even fathom that God would even care about me. To know every hair on my head. Even though it doesn't matter to me, it matters to him. My happiness matters to him. Why? What is, what is the point of all this? And it's so we can go to heaven. So that we can be at point one again. The, the, the reason why we fail is because of disobedience. We're so disobedient to what God wants for us. And I just don't understand how I can get there. How do I get there? How do I get rid of the ignorance? How do I have all this logic in my mind and common sense? Nowadays, we call it common sense. But I have all this common sense in my mind and my heart always talks to me and says, no, Annette, don't judge somebody according to their race. Don't judge someone according to their sexual, I don't know how to say it, or, se or like if you want to be gay or not. Don't judge someone if they're male or female or uh, what is that called um, forgive me please a hermaphrodite where you're born with a penis and a vagina that must be amazing but anyways that's another story are are we as people ever gonna get it are we gonna appreciate every day or are we gonna keep on throwing it all away are we going to stand up and fight for what's right? Or are we just going to let somebody steal it from us and never say a word? You know, I, I get people that come into my store and ask other people for money. And all I do is tell them with the utmost respect and gentleness, hey, you cannot do that in my store. They get mad at me because I call them out. When I really want to say, do you come to my house? And do what you want in my house? Do I go to your house and do that? No. I do not do that in your house. Don't come up into my house and do that to me or to my guests. But they have no common sense. They have no care. There's no heart. There's no more love. There's no more respect. There's no more dignity. All that's gone and out the door in America. People walk around and they're so sad. Their face is drawn down. They're not happy anymore. They don't have no life. There's no vibrancy in them. Because all they do is work. It's like a modern day slavery. And you ain't got to be black. You ain't got to be white. You ain't got to be Mexican. Because we all in the same boat. We all slaving away. Well, all these people that are in the government. It's rolling big money. Having big cars. Having everything that they want. And our children are going to suffer from this. Our children. Our grandchildren. If you ain't got no children, you gonna suffer from this. I just wish that I would just get enlightened and have peace and mind and joy to know that nobody's gonna go to hell. That everybody would go to heaven. That's what I wish. Hell is not meant for humans. It is not meant for you to be tortured for eternity for the things that you said and the things that you did in your life. Look at what you do as a person, please, and change your life. A psychic told me once when I was walking a bad life and I, did, and I wasn't following God and I wasn't following God's word and I was back and I didn't know what type of God I served. She said, I can never tell you your future because you can change it at any time. And I thought to myself, then what the fuck am I here for? Why am I paying you my money? It's because I was ignorant at the time and I didn't know when I was looking for answers. And instead of her telling me, you're not going to find the truth here. She still wrote, read my cards. And for that whole year, I was cursed. For that whole year, I was so cursed. And that's how I found God. I was so cursed. I was so sad. My life was 
falling apart. I was falling apart. I've never had um, a great system or a great upbringing in my life. I've never had a supporting parent. I bought my first car. My husband bought me this car. I never went to prom. I never had birthdays. We never had parties. There was no holidays. So in a sense, I'm just disconnected from society and reality. And I always try to strive for humanity. Treat each individual with respect and dignity because you mean something. We are something. We are precious gems in the eyes of God. We are important and what we do matters. And what we say and what we think matters. So my message to you today is don't fall from grace. Don't fall for the lies that have been set out for us because it ain't nothing but a bunch of lies and bullshit. It's all lies and bullshit and fairy tales and smoke and mirrors. And we know this deep down in our heart. We know this. So I, I pray for you daily and I ask God to forgive you for the things that you don't know. And I ask that you wouldn't be ignorant and that you would treat your fellow man as you treat yourself. So that you wouldn't be judged for the things that you do. And I ask of you to please repent. Ask God into your life and into your heart so that he might change you. And make you greater than you already are. 